Hi everybody, Mike here, back once again, this time with video 4 in our Jerrica High End Retouch series. As promised, we are going to go through some dodging and burning. Here we go. We have our image, that the same image that we've been working on throughout the series, and we're going to start a whole other group over here. And that'll be for dodging and burning the skin. So I'll start my group. Name it. DB scan. There we go. While I have this highlighted, any layers that I make uh, will just automatically go into that group. So I'm going to put in two curves layers. Here's one. And another one. There they are. My bottom's curves, bottom curve, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll name it Derkin. And the top curve, Lighten. There we are. And we're going to do just what those two say. So for our darkened curve, we'll drag the line down a little bit. Right about there. Making, making sure that the layer mask thumbnail is clicked and selected. Hit Control i and that'll invert that mask. And everything disappears. Up to the top, curves layer, and we're going to righten, you guessed it. And once again, control I will invert that mask. I will get my brush, and I'm going to start painting with white, probably at opacity. Nice low opacity, I think. And depending on how light we've gone and how light we want to go from 5 to 20. It, it could be. I mean, we really can't tell until we're doing it. Okay, so the dodge and the burn were essentially what we're going to do is take the highlights and brighten them and take the shadows and darken them. That, that's not all we'll do because we'll lighten some of the shadows as well. You can do a lot of healing with the dodging and burning uh, procedure. And um, you can come up with some pretty amazing results. Now, what I see in Jerrica's forehead here is a couple of shadows brought on just by the shape of her head and the fact that the lights came at such a sharp angle. We didn't smooth it out with the other uh, things we did, so it kind of looks a little odd. We're going to zoom in a little bit, and that'll be where we start. You can see this shadow here. I don't think that shadow is helping us in any way. So with our Lighten Curves Layer Mask selected and a brush set to maybe an opacity of 10, we'll start to lighten up that shadow a little bit. It's so slight. A nice soft edge brush, as you can see. And we're just painting over some of these shadows. He can't even see the work uh, as I'm doing it, probably. I can see it, but I have done this quite a bit. Um, there you, go. you can see already, if I turn that on and off, you can see that it's really helping to smooth out the skin and the forehead. Something that healing, your healing brush just... I guess you could do it... Um, you stand a lot of chance of getting some real messy work out of the healing brush there. And the smoothing that we did and the healing that we did earlier in the process didn't quite cover it. That's how we can get rid of some shadows. But some of the highlights we like. I like this highlight on the eye. I'm going to bring that up a little more. I like this highlight on the cheek. I'm going to bring this up a little more. Fantastic. Um, in here, in this, uh, inside the... Um, Socket of the eye. It's a little dark. Just ever so slightly. Bringing up that shadow. As you can see, if you look in here, the difference just in that area that, that we've made. We've just brightened up the eye a little bit. Fantastic. So the bags are gone. The apple of the cheek here is standing out. It's fantastic. Now. I'm going to touch the eyes. 
uh, maybe a little bit here on the cheek brighten that up a little Brightening up the shadow inside the creases here will um, soften up the creases for sure. Definitely make um, them a lot more shallow. Zoom in a little more. In this area here, I really like to accent the shape of the lips. So I really bring out that highlight. We have some highlights on the lips, especially if they're in the center line of the lip. Really like to bring them up. We can switch over to painting the exact same color with the same opacity on our darkened um, thumbnail. And start darkening the outside of the lips. Essentially what we're doing here is creating more of a 3D effect when you're darkening the outsides and brightening the inside. Um, that'll really give the lips a lot more fullness. Now we can decide whether to lighten or darken this part of the chin here, which will either decrease the effect or increase the effect of the cleft in the chin. We'll just see how we like that. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Okay, so it can be difficult in the beginning to really sort of pick what areas you want to dodge and what areas you want to burn. Dodge being lightened, burn being darkened. Uh, the burn is a little easier to remember if you start there. But um, if you sit back and you pay attention to, uh, you know, how the picture was taken, we can see that the main light was over here. A reflector or second light, softer light was over on this side so we know that most of the light is coming onto this side of the face and it's just being bounced to fill in this side of the face. And that can kind of help you see where the shadows should be and where you're going to need them. Whether you want them at all. There we go. Now, with a smaller brush, we can start dodging this eye makeup to really darken it up. We get that much more bold. But just the makeup. Um, not the eyes. The makeup only. Perhaps get a little more definition out of this eyebrow. Just because the flash burned it out so much. Fantastic. Now, we'll head down into the rest of the body and try to accent some of these shadows, highlights a little more. I think down here we're talking about just being a little bit too dark. The shadow minimize the effect here because it's starting to because um, it isn't helping our image at all so I'm going to darken up this highlight and lighten up these low lights a little bit switch up to a 20% opacity 20% opacity so I'm working a little harder on some of these shadows here brightening them up it's important to keep turning off and on your layer and checking your progress. Um, the reason for that is your eyes can get really tired. It's difficult to focus on the, the tones in an image so much. So you turn it off and then turn it back on, see what you're coming up with. Now, one trick you can use you're really having trouble tracing, trying to trace down your tones, you can um, throw in a black and white layer. And we're not going to work on that black and white layer at all. However, it does help us see the shadows. 
distinguish the shadows from the highlights and we can start working on them a little bit more you can really see where those shadows are there we are turn that back off we can see now that we were dark we've been able to darken that and lighten this and that's kind of helped us out come back here full screen again I think there's still a little more work to do up on the face but uh, we can turn this group off and see the change that we've made is actually pretty major okay darken darken the shadow along the nose here make it make it much more bold get in here it's fantastic anything I want to accentuate the cheeks yes please well the nice thing is is if we've made a mistake if we have a part here that's just too light and it wasn't what we wanted to do we just need to paint with black paint black at a hundred percent opacity it'll be like erasing it completely <laughs> There it is. Now I'm going to have to start over again. Painting with white. This time, not as strong. Okay, now, here's the beauty of this technique. Nice and zoomed out here. A couple of final touches on a few of the areas. I can see that I'm not very happy with the shadows in this area. I'm going to go down and I'll turn on my black and white layer again and really work on a small granular scale on the individual shadows that are causing some roughness in the skin, some um, uneven textures. And this black and white layer really helps the eyes kind of pick out uh, the shadows and highlights and see what needs to uh, be done. Essentially trying to smooth this whole area out. Only touching the, the dark areas. There we are. Whoops. Turn off that black and white layer. We'll go check the image out. There we are, now we're kind of play around with a few different shadows here and bring them out intentionally, bring them back out for some added boldness. Okay, uh, there we go. Now, one more thing maybe. We could do some. Nope. Sorry, not going to do it for you. I see that we've recorded quite a bit of time already. We'll have to save that for tomorrow, for next week, when uh, we work on uh, hair. Thanks a lot, everybody. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment if you want to know anything, and uh, have a great day.